This is problem number eight from section 3.1. In this problem it says, an object is dropped from the top of a cliff 640 meters high. Its height above the ground t seconds after it is dropped is 640 minus 4.9 t squared. Determine its speed six seconds after it is dropped. So what they're asking us to do is they're asking us to take this equation and after six seconds figure out how fast is this thing moving. Well, if we want to do that, we want to find the slope that this line has at x equals 6. So we want to find the slope expression to start. And once we find the slope expression, we can plug in x equals 6, and we'll know our slope at this point 6, and that'll tell us our velocity. So we're going to say that this is the limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So we're going to get the limit as h approaches 0. And remember, we're finding instantaneous uh, speed there. Right? We want that instantaneous speed there. So we're going to plug in x plus h, and we're going to get 640 minus 4.9 x plus h squared minus the function which is 640 minus 4.9 and we got x squared here all over h so this is the limit as h approaches 0 we need to figure out what is x plus h squared so what x plus h squared is x plus h times x plus h, which gives you x squared plus x times h and h times x, so that's 2xh plus h times h, which is h squared. Plug that in, you get 640 minus 4.9 x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 640 plus 4.9 x squared all over h. Let's now do the limit as h approaches 0. Distribute the negative 4.9 so we end up with 640 minus 4.9 x squared minus 4.9 times 2 is 9.8 xh minus 4.9 h squared minus 640 plus 4.9 x squared. That's all over h. Negative 640 and 640 cancel. We get negative 4.9 x squared and 4.9 x squared canceling. Left us with limit as h approaches 0 of negative 9.8 xh minus 4.9h squared all over h. Factor out an h on the top, we get limit. As h approaches 0, we get h negative 9.8x minus 4.9h all over h. h is cancel, and I'm left with limit as h approaches 0 of negative 9.8x minus 4.9h. Plug in 0, this cancels, and that leaves you with negative 9.8x. So this is the expression for the slope at this for this uh, function right here. Really, this is the ex expression for the speed at any point in time uh, on this, any point in time this, after this object's dropped. So we're gonna go ahead and say, what's the uh, speed at time equals six? Now remember, this is an x, but that is essentially representing t. So we end up with negative 9.8 times 6, which negative 9.8 times 6 gives you negative 58.8.
But remember, we don't want to say negative 58.8. That's just telling us uh, that we're moving downwards in direction. We Really, we want to say that this is 58.8 for a speed because we don't care about the direction. So 58.8 is the speed. And that would be 58.8, I believe. That'd be in, uh, yeah, meters per second.